The W is back, y'all. Wu-Tang, an American Saga, season two. It's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Clep CXFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, place where we talk about movies, television, and pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, um, listen, Hulu hooked it up, man. Shout out to Hulu. I appreciate you. Uh, I had the opportunity to, to screen uh, the entire second season of the Wu-Tang American Saga Season 2. And listen, before we get into this, of course, in club fashion, I'm gonna break this thing down so you this thing down so you guys can understand exactly what it is and uh, who's involved. So the Wu Tang series in American Saga uh, is written by Alex T and uh, RZA himself. Uh, now, the, according to them, this series took about 10 years in the making. It was 10 years in the making, and then it finally came to. And this first season. I'm not gonna lie, man. When I went into the first season, I kind of went in. I was excited. I was, I was amped because I was a Wu Tang fan and still am a Wu Tang fan since I was a teenager. And I gotta tell you guys, like this series, uh, it really, really opened up a lot of things about this group that a lot of people probably didn't even know uh, may or may not have happened. Because a lot of it is fictional, but a lot of it is also the truth. Um, they haven't come forth and said what exactly is real and what isn't real but i love nevertheless i love the story i love what they put out i love the progression and the slow pacing of getting to actually know these characters or these uh legitimate real people and the relationship that they ended up building or may not have built in or the falling outs that they have had along the way uh it kind of gives this thing depth they didn't just jump right into the music they didn't just jump right into the popular songs and the, the radio hits and the you know the music videos and all that stuff they give you a really uh deep dive a deep cut of where these men started and where they're going because the first season pretty much cut off before we even got any Wu-Tang stuff we got a gist of you know the RZA's backstory when he was doing Prince uh, Rakim and he was uh, you know kind of like a pop rapper so to speak but a failed rapper at that point um, so I appreciated that because that's a little bit of history having an older brother who's a DJ uh, that was a little bit of the history about him that I did know but it was good to see more of a deep dive uh, as far as you know what they were talking about now this wu-tang american saga it stars uh, uh ashton sanders uh shamik moore uh sadiq saunderson uh erica alexander from living single a lot of you remember bokeem woodbine is in this uh zoli griggs is in this um uh, tj adams who does a phenomenal job of playing old dirty bastard like dude the, the casting in this could not have been any better and it pretty much just follows basically the start and uh middle going into the success uh the life and crimes and the success of the wu-tang clan uh and right now we're getting into season two season two will be coming out uh september 8th it will be available on hulu for streaming and i'm here to tell you what i thought now what did i think about season two season two literally and i mean literally gives you as a wu-tang fan if you are a wu-tang fan this thing gives you every single thing that you were waiting for that you did not get in season one and i mean no spoilers no spoilers but i will tell you this uh you get a very very detailed dive into the progression of building this group they make you work for it. You will not get everything that you want right away, but they make you work for it. Because when we left season one, there were some grudges, some serious grudges, some life and death grudges, if you guys remember. Uh, uh, Dennis, AKA Ghostface, and uh, Sha, AKA Raekwon, they have a little bit of tension, a little bit of beef, uh, life or death beef. Um, and that rolls over into season two, guys. Like, these guys, we all know, of course, they become Wu-Tang Clan. Everybody, you know, eventually, there's a Wu-Tang Clan. But you don't get that right away, man. Like, this thing, this thing plays out like real life. Like, these guys are not cool. 
at all <laughs> at all so that 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 pretty much is a part of what goes on but the whole season pretty much follows Riza who is facing some serious time for a violent crime that he committed uh, and he's tossing up you know he's got a choice to make you know do you want to go down this path or do you want to you know he's feeling more inspired to be a producer again so he's he's leaning towards going to the right versus the left and in this he has an epiphany you know he doesn't want to do this without his brothers you know he doesn't want to do this without his seven his uh seven other uh you know ingredients to his master plan and so we get that and we, we get a lot of that and i gotta tell you guys there's this one episode i'm not gonna tell you where i'm not gonna tell you which one but we get an entire episode these episodes are about an hour long we get an entire episode dedicated to the recording process of one of their most popular songs that's all i'm going to tell you an entire episode dedicated to the to the recording process like i listen it was it's it's it's, it's in the mix it's later on in the show but it's worth it like i was i appreciated that episode probably the most out of the whole thing um hopefully that they're gonna get a season three out of this thing but uh some of the knocks that i have towards this, this season because it is great it's a great season and you can kind of tell the difference in, in acting progression i don't know if they you know polished up on on some of the mannerisms and they're you know trying to grasp the characteristics of these guys but uh ashton who plays rizza he's doing this voice thing where it's like he's really spot on like he's doing rizza just as good as Riza could do Riza, but it's very noticeably different from how he was doing Riza, Riza in season one. Um, uh, Shamik Moore too, he's got more Raekwon in him than he had uh, in season one, but more more than the others, Riza. Ashton Sanders, his Riza in season two was like, like, bro, the voice, the voice, it's like, in, in it's he's there he's knocking it out the park so that was probably the only knock that i have is the fact that you could tell the difference like okay he was just acting in season one now he has embodied the rizza uh, tj adams of course is doing his thing with oh dirty you get a lot of um oh dirty story in this season uh which is cool um not a lot of meth I, I, like i'm not gonna lie not a lot really not a lot of meth but uh, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting a lot of rap. I'll give you that, guys. You're getting a lot of rap, but you're not getting a lot of, of this. This this season probably probably primarily focuses more on RZA, uh, Old Dirty, um, Raekwon, Ghost, and uh, of course his brother uh, Diggs. Um, I forget what his what his brother's name is in the in the, in the show. Um, can't remember what his name is but uh yeah you get you're getting a lot of him Jul julian is his real name julian um mitch uh divine divine that's his name divine divine yeah so you're getting a lot of divine uh in this as well um and oh yeah also i can't forget uh the birth of the the wings is in this season as well like listen it's it's dope man it's a really dope season um and I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see this thing go on. I hope this thing gets another season or two or three, three more, because there's a lot of woo. There's a lot of woo out there for us. Um, who do we got? We got, you know, the, the woo affiliates, you know, Shaheen and them. You know, I know there's a lot of drama going on with that situation as well. You guys got to check out Drink Champs. There's like some drama with the, the woo affiliates, but there's a lot of woo that needs to be brought into this. And I think that this show could really stretch it out and, and do do it justice so yeah guys let me know if you're super excited for wu-tang uh, an american saga season two because it's coming uh september 8th and it is definitely worthy it is worth it i think it is probably better than the first season oh it definitely is better than the first season you're getting everything that you could ever have wanted if you didn't get any if you felt like you walked out of season one with nothing trust me you're getting it all in season two trust me get ready for it guys like comment share make sure you subscribe let me know if you guys are excited and for more movie news television news pop culture and my full written detailed review will be on wearecritics.com and i will talk to you all later
Peace.